Hi friends, so welcome to Code Jana, and I'm very pleased to tell you that Message Ping has received AI update. All right, I've included OpenAI with its feature. So in this quick demo, I want to showcase you all the features that we have. So first of all, as you know, we can send quick messages to any number or any of the contact that you have saved. To save contacts, it has full contact management system. So just click create contact. You can manually create it or if you have a file, you can browse it and click on that file and upload. As you see, that file has been added. So you can add that to your database. That file had friend one and friend two in that. In this contact family, I have the contact number of myself and my wife. So let's add that as well. So Krishnakant and Mika. And these numbers are actually working. If you want to contact me on WhatsApp, you can contact me on this number. Okay, so let's try to send a quick message. So right now, WhatsApp, Telegram and Discord are supported. So let's select all of them and try to send a quick message. All right, so WhatsApp, Telegram and Discord messages were sent. Let's check them out quickly. Hi there, sending now. In WhatsApp, yes, we've got that. And uh, my own one, yes, hi there, sending now. So quick messages are working. Now text template, just click on any template, demo, and you'll see the text message inside that template. Click confirm and then you'll have that in the message field and you can send that message. All right, so add image. And you have these wonderful images from Unsplash. So click on anyone like this, happy birthday. And yes, you can send it now. So now the integration of AI is using this button. So this field will serve as a prompt field. So let's say you don't know what you want to say, but you want to send a happy birthday greeting. So let's type. So this would become your prompt. After that, click on AI. So this is actually generated by OpenAI. All right. So now you can just click here and select all the platforms that you want to send it to. So we have received the messages. All right. So we got the photo. Same here. All right. So this is working. So if you switch to contact, you can send that to any of the contacts that you have saved, just like all the contacts that you've seen in the contacts page. And if you want to send that to a group, so right now we don't have any contact groups. So click on contacts and select these two and type a group name. Add that. Go there and you can see all the members inside that group. You can edit that group so you can delete them and you can add new members from the contacts page. So now since you have that group, you can click on switch to group and then select that group and send your message to the entire group. So let's try scheduling a message. I'm going to create an AI message. So let's click our platforms. All right. Uh, time right now is, well, 12.26 because it's the latest time. So let's set it to 12.27 AM. All right, let's send that. So, all right, that actually got sent very quickly. I'm just going to select a template here, demo, and set that to 1228. Select our platforms, send it. Now you can see that it is scheduled for 1228 AM. All right, so I hope you have heard that ding. Let's check it out. All right, so at 1228 AM, we got that message that we scheduled. And if you refresh this page, it's gone. Great. So scheduling is working wonderfully as well. Uh, click on schedule history and you'll see all the messages that you send. So down below, you'll see the latest one and you'll also see all the platforms that you send it to along with the schedule date and date created. So that's actually wonderful. And here are all the templates that you upload from here. These would be text files and each and every message would be in a single line. So that's the format there. And you can favorite them and see them up top when you are actually creating the message. All right, so let's select some messages to add them to a list of favorite messages. So this one and maybe this one and down below you're all right. Uh, no, that's not good. I'm yours, no refunds. That's actually good. All right, so quickly check it out. And all those three messages that you have favorited have come up here. So yeah, when you select this, it will actually be here. So yeah, so favorite messages is working. We have a single page settings button. Here you can set your open AI key, your Twilio settings, your Telegram settings, your Discord setting and Unsplash API key. 
I'll help you set up all of this, all right? So don't worry about that and all future upgrades will be free. Now this is the version 1.0 of this application and currently I'm in the works of version 2.0. All right, so as you can see, these are the features of version 1.0. So we have quick message and schedule messages for all the platforms. We have AI generated messages as well, and we can schedule, reschedule, or delete scheduled messages. So all of this is implemented. We have full contact management system. And as you've seen, we also have template management system. And furthermore, we have image management system as well. And depending on when you're buying it, you may have the option of unsplash pixels and pixabay libraries furthermore we have a single page settings and you will have quick support on this dedicated telegram group that's especially for this application now in version 2.0 you will have multi-user login you will also have multi-user settings so right now when you click on settings you cannot edit the default user but in version 2.0 you can have as many users as you want under the single dashboard all right and since i'm working on better prompt engineering version 2.0 is going to have better suggestion better sales page email content and so much more further i'm also going to connect a discord bot functionality inside version 2.0 then you will have the option to schedule videos as well you will also be able to upload personal images and this is actually a pretty great one right now you have to manually set the schedules all right but in version 2.0 you can just upload a file to set schedules it will be much quicker also right now since all the scheduling is live it's not persisting but in version 2.0 the schedules will not vanish even if the server starts right so these features make it even more robust of an application right now it's completely fine it will work for your use case but with this it will become so much better that's why this version is going to cost you 199 dollars this version version 1.0 the price is only $29. It will help me support with the development of version 2.0 as well. And the best part is, if you buy it right now for $29, all the features of version 2.0 will be absolutely free of cost to you. So please find the links in the description below and in the pinned comment. All right, thank you so much for watching this demo and I'll see you in the next one.